Cam Newton, friend of the show, you know, he has his youth football camps all the time, all the time. And this past weekend, warmer weather in Atlanta. I'm assuming he's in Atlanta. I really actually don't even know where he's hosting these. But warmer weekend, and he hosted one and ran into a lot of shenanigans with a specific uh, uh, coach from another team. This is the coach from the team first. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, man, I'm going to say it. They can't hide the film now. You know what I'm saying? At three times. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not throwing none, throwing Atlanta hero quarterback. <laughs> Just Cannot chill, beat me. Can't beat for Hey, Joe. Can't beat me is fighting words. Where I'm from. Hmm. Now, I know you're talking about football, but can't beat me? Nah. You want to fight? I want to tussle? I just want to say, I just want to say, <clears throat> Brett Favre scammed millions from people, and I don't see nobody attacking him. No one would dare attack Tom Brady. I can't remember a video of Steve Young getting attacked, Joe Montana, Dan Marino. But my nigga Cam is getting attacked at a fucking seven on seven? Shit sad, man. Oh, come on, man. It's, we got to do better as a community, as a people, in February. Like, Cam already Crab defeated the NFL. He already defeated the NFL media trying to come for him when he ended up being right at the end of the day. And then we got our own people that can't even take an L like a man. You got to try to jump the man and fail. And yes, Cam is actually 6'5", 6'6", 235 pounds in real life. He is, he's actually that big, buddy. Like, I don't... I, I'm not, and like, no homo, like, for real, all jokes aside, thick thighs, so I, they weren't going to take him down. He was not going to the ground. No. Uh, big arms. Fucking quarterback, shoulders big. Um, yeah, I, that was silly. That was why did they fight him again? I'm, I'm so confused. To I, either A, B, the niggas that beat up Cam Newton. No, no, <laughs> they were there. I think they were the other coaches for whatever seven on seven thing he was doing. And I guess their team lost or something like that. Because him saying that that not throw a quarterback, that was him talking trash beforehand. I was one of the people that ran up on him. That was him talking trash beforehand. So I'm guessing there was a game that was supposed to be played. And I'm assuming that they lost. I don't know. I would I wouldn't think y'all were trying to jump Cam Newton if y'all won. That is just insane. That's criminal. <laughs> we, we beat you on the field and we're gonna beat you off it, bitch. Uh nah. Me personally, I mean, look, bro, we we've had we've had several conversations about just knowing who you are, right? I ain't gonna lie. And Don Donald brings up a good point of why I had to be Cam, but I wanna stay on my point here. Um look, bro, you them niggas, when I watch that film, <laughs> They didn't even want to fucking scrap that nigga. It was just about getting him to the ground and then potentially stomping him out. They, but the whole plan is flawed. I'm sorry to tell you, this nigga practiced with Luke Keekly or Kukli. Co- it's pretty sure it's Keekly. The niggas, the niggas played S tier of S tier middle linebackers time in and time out, let alone edge rushers. You thought yo ass at five nine one something was bringing that nigga down? Are, are we serious? And that's nothing more than a corner blitz to this nigga. But like, I'm not going to lie like that. You are in that nigga's field. You you are literally adjusting to his field there. So when I seen that nobody was about like really like squaring up and trying to box with him, they were just trying to take him down. I was like, yeah, so they're not going to take him down because that's like the last thing you want to do with a fucking NFL athlete, especially the stature of a guy like Cam Newton, who is also not even just a typical quarterback in the NFL, which is beating up most niggas on this planet. But he's fucking Cam Newton, the same guy that was jumping over and Heisman stiff arming these said linebackers that I'm naming. Like he would put your favorite defender's face in the dirt. So I don't, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why they did this. Um, it wasn't a well thought out plan. But niggas be hating, niggas be angry. So I'm not surprised that it happened. I just niggas ain't think that through at all. That was embarrassing. Yeah, I remember when this picture came out. And and before this picture, people were like, "Oh yeah, Brittany Renner, crazy thick, thicky stickums, <laughs> yummy thicky." Um, and then she stood next to Meg The Stallion. <laughs> that was so old, bro. No, but that's that's what we're <laughs> Yo, yummy thicky. <laughs> She's crazy thick. She's super yeah, thick. And then she stood next to Meg, and Meg made her look like a high school kid. Um, mm. I just want to also share. This is him standing next to Bill Belichick, and Bill Belichick is five eleven. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, Damn. so taller, taller than the average man for sure. I just, you it, it wasn't smart. It just was not. I just don't understand. And again, 
if you're a seven on seven coach and these worlds are smaller, like why would why would you feel the need to disrupt one of the organizers of set events? Um, you know, one of the funders of set events, somebody who's who brings positivity to the community. And and somebody somebody noted this and you know, don't want to get too deep into politics and race this this episode. Every year we see a clip of Cam Newton at his camp. And uh, uh, um, it's a kid talking to him reckless. It's a coach talking to him reckless. It's a parent talking to him reckless every single year. And the first couple years, it might have been funny because there's been times on the pod where on his podcast where Cam has been like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm at little bro. And then we just joke and laugh like that. Da, 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 da. But that might have happened like one time, maybe two times. Right. That's not been the case every single time. But yet again, year in and year out, it's it's something. It's somebody. I don't know why they keep trying him. Uh, hopefully, this is like why you shouldn't try me. Uh, 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 reason number ninety nine, because I am six five, I am two fifty, um, and, and I, I, you know, I'm I am big, uncut. Yeah, he he's a he's a big dude. In regards to other big dudes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just don't get why he specifically keeps on getting targeted, even like from a media perspective. And this, I don't know what he's done. Like, is he an asshole to people? Like, I don't know, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's it it sounds blood. like he had success in his NFL career, so he wasn't like a scrub in the NFL, abs- uh, clearly. So, let me tell y'all this: you know. the it's, it's a bloodborne trait with the with angry niggas. You know how that shit is. This oh, is him picking up bad. Luke Keekly. That's what I'm saying, right? He's towering over his fucking linebacker. Like one of the like chat, if you think it's far fetched to call him one of the greatest linebackers of all That's time tough. because of longevity, go for it. But in terms of a talent, generational talent, he's able to just pick the nigga up. Damn near little bro to nigga. Like, what are we doing? This nigga has on jeans, y'all. Like what are we tight doing? jeans? Tell me and there I'm be so let me tell you something. They not tight. They're not tight <laughs> regular. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he didn't buy tight jeans. They're just jeans, and he just fills them out. Hey, oh. yo, <laughs> now that that's insane. That's he can't fill out jeans. That's Damn. True. Every everything. A lot of things in the gym <laughs> about hey yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like damn, bro, you got strong ass calves. I ain't never said yo, you filled out your jeans. <laughs> Luke did six three. Yeah, that's... I never said that one, bro. Six three two thirty eight from Luke Keekly. It was a big boys. So I ain't going. All right, bro. Tell me Jeans. Here are the Fill moments. Out the, filling out the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dog. I ain't gonna let that sound like a, a T pain lyric. Nigga <laughs> said she filling out the jeans. All right, bro. I'm not going. Bro, what? Those regular I, pants. They regular pants. He just fills them out. Like, fills them out. <laughs> I finished his sentence. He was trying to say that, bro. That's not what I was saying. What were you trying to say? I was just gonna say those are regular pants, and then that's what Cam Newton looks like in regular pants. I, I, yeah, I just said this, that's what I said. I'm not gonna remark on if he fills them out or he fills you in or what. I don't know anything about that. Oh. <laughs> All right, bro. Just look my no hands in the cheek. All right, bro. Let me stop. Tell me, is there any more room? <clears throat> and that wasn't to stop the combo. I'm dying. Um. <laughs> But nah, nah, this nigga, this nigga Cameron Newton. I mean, in terms of why, souls, I was hinting at it when we pulled up the clip. Niggas is just, niggas hate us. I don't know what it is about certain niggas uh, when it comes to like livelihood, but some niggas, hey, they don't want to see you win, even if it means we ain't winning. So, hey. Dumpster. I mean, he gets disproportionately shitted on. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I promise you, I don't want to, again, I don't want to make this too political or nothing like that, especially during Black History Month, my favorite month. But yeah, if there's one thing about niggas I can't stand, niggas will drag you down just because sometimes, bro. It's, it's literally that is the reason why I tell, to be honest. 